What's poppin' ladies and gentlemen, and others of course, to girl Acid Ash back at it again in Minecraft. Um, in this video we'll be playing uh, a, a backrooms map made by Night Studios. Uh, definitely go check them out. Um, and yeah, let's, uh, let's get into it. Okay, uh, team life system. Uh, how to use the camera. Right click to bring up a camera lens. Snake crouch to take a snapshot. Stand close to an entity to get a snapshot of it. Okay, fair enough. Uh, your team starts out with max lives. Your, your team shares all lives. Upon depletion, the map resets entirely. Oh, okay, so it's, it's procedurally generated. That's kind of cool. Um, I'm guessing those are the only two... Yeah, those are probably the only two. Okay, supported skin type, so it doesn't support uh, midget skins. <laughs> uh, view bopping optional, disable hazmat, GUI, scale, fit hazmat mask and UI elements to your screen. We recommend setting everything to 100% and adjusting from there. Um, okay, well, let's see what the audio settings are at. I always have them tuned to a specific way. Oh, apparently I didn't. I didn't tune them to. Uh... Okay, we'll set music to seventy. Sound a hundred percent. Music, ambient environment. Set this to eighty. Blocks a hundred. Hostile creatures a hundred. Friendly creatures. We will set this to. 75 hostile creatures we'll keep it at 100 actually let's bring this down because they tend to get pretty noisy not gonna lie jukebox note box we'll keep that at 100 weather we can turn it we can crank this all the way down to 55 because that rain tends to get louder than i than i would like uh text to speech we'll just leave that at 100 because we don't use that anyway Okay. There we go. Oh, that's so much better. Okay, hazmat UI. No, let's let's leave it on. It uh, it gives it it gives it more of an atmosphere. We will keep it at magenta because that looks nice and pretty. Welcome, team, to Operation Oakland. Ooh, that's a nice intro Your to it. Objective is to go as far and document all you see. Yes, sir. Second objective is to find the previous team we've lost contact with. Last objective is to prioritize the mission above all else. Be careful out there, and we await your return. Roger that. I wonder if, um, I wonder if you can actually, wait, let's see what the dialogue is. Document as far as you can see. Okay, the second objective is to lo locate the previous team we've lost contact with. I wonder if you can actually find that team. Uh, prioritize the mission above everything else. Be careful out there, await your return. Um, okay, for some reason the dialogue pops up twice. That's interesting. Oh, I don't, I don't like this. <laughs> I don't like this. Um, I decided to do, I know this is like the first like custom map and stuff that, um, that you've seen me do a playthrough, but I've, I've been getting really into like the backrooms lore because it just goes so deep. It's like, um, <laughs> it's just the... <laughs> It's just the anus that never stopped shitting. <laughs> no, but for real. It's like the the lore of this um uh, creepy pasta. It it technically counts as a creepy pasta, right? I don't know. But the lore of the backrooms, it's so diverse and so uh You know what? Let's see if we can turn up the brightness on this. Cause I I 
I know there are supposed to be like unlit areas and all that, but I want you guys to be able to see. Yeah, brightness at 50. Let's turn crank that up to 100. Okay, that did absolutely nothing. Fan freaking tastic. You know, it's probably it's probably the the gamma of these darker areas is probably set by the the map developer, which I was playing a little before, but um, before I decided to do a recording, because you know I only want top quality content on the channel, and it's it's a pretty extensive map. Apparently, every time you die, the the world resets. Uh, which is very interesting. I like that. Because uh, this is definitely a different terrain generation than what than what I saw. Um, let's see if we can make it past level 1. Um, because so far I've, I've only made it to level 1 because it's extra hostile. Um, es escape. Oh shit! Oh god. <laughs> oh, okay, we're we're gonna get in getting into the thick of it. Oh, good lord. Man, those jump scares. I have a feeling they're going to pop up just enough, just like, to the point where you just never feel like you're quite settled into your chair. You're always, you're always on your heels. I like, I like that. Wait. I swear I saw a creature. I swear I saw a creature there. What are these by the Oh, it's it's like a chip in the paint. I see. I I I I like how they they added like custom ambience. Like you can definitely hear the hum of the um of the of the lights. It really does feel like a liminal space. Um Oh, those are plugs. Okay carpet stains um i've i've been looking up a lot of lore you know watching some jacksepticeye and like reading through the wikis and man the the depth on this on this creepy pasta or this like i i don't know exactly what you call it but the the depth on it is crazy just like how much detail and effort that just a bunch of random people online they just created a whole community around it and it's it's crazy how like I didn't even know what they were a year ago and then it just like I don't know it's just crazy how fast like these types of stories and stuff spread it's very very fascinating I mean uh I mean, uh, I forgot the name of the guy. It's like Kyle something. All I know is that his channel starts with a K, and he did he did a series of short films. Um, dude, dude was only like seventeen when he when he made the first video. He's probably like eighteen now, and uh, he he used Blender just to just to create these this elaborate story it's it's extremely fascinating like I don't know how the hell um I don't know how the hell he managed to come up with it but I'm hoping um all right let's just stick with this direction let's just try to stick with this direction and see uh Okay, no, that doesn't go anywhere that way. Because we've seen that escape sign a couple times. I want to... I, I want to actually get, hopefully, farther than I did on my uh, trial run. The only problem is uh, with sticking to one direction is the fact...
Okay. Guess we made it out. <sighs> negative, uh, negative one. Okay, this, uh, as far as I'm concerned, this, oh, anything? Yes, no, maybe? Uh, this floor does seem to be a tiny bit more hostile than the previous, but the good news is we've made it here faster than what I managed to do on the trial run, so hopefully the, the recording process and, you know, the second playthrough is, is helping me make it farther, because... Wait. No! I didn't, I didn't realize you could go back to the previous floor. That's interesting. Well, might as well uh, see if there's any more almond water. I wonder if there's any, like, if there's any way to, to defeat the creatures you come across. Like the Smiler. According to the lore, all you have to do is, like, turn your flashlight off and look down, but, um, no. And the, what I encountered on level one, um, oh my god, that creature, I don't, I don't know what it is exactly, but it, it's a giant pain. Uh, to deal with because it seems like no matter what you do like you take a different route and stuff like that and it always creeps up on you Okay, let's let's do the the previous method of sticking to one direction Also, I don't know what the what the missing texture is at the top of the screen I tried to to get rid of it by removing the UI, but I think it's just like the creator plugging their social or whatever, or I I don't know. Who knows what it is? It could just be uh could just be a bug that they overlooked, but uh I'll make sure to send some feedback to them so they can get it ironed out hopefully. Okay, here's the escape sign. What we did to get there previously is we went backwards, right? Oh, apparently not. Okay. Well, the escape sign is like a miniature checkpoint in a way. So, let's just stick with this direction. It doesn't matter which room we go in, but as long as you stick to one particular direction, it tends to help. And in these in these darker areas, try to like look at where the light is and circle all around it. Or have your, like, if it's a dead end, like, push your back up against it. Because then you can find out if there's, like, any hidden rooms in there anywhere. Uh. But, yeah, guys, let me know if you want, uh, if you want me to make, uh, more videos on the back rooms. Okay, we said we're gonna stick with this direction. Um, Okay. I have a feeling we're gonna get jump scared soon. I'm mentally preparing for it. Oh god. Oh Jesus. This is a predicament for sure. God, it it almost remind like the back rooms are like it, it gives you that same feeling that you would get, like, that scuba divers get, or the same feeling you get when you're playing Subnautica. It's like that, like, extreme lack of orientation. It really starts to mess with you. It's like, I love it. It's like uh, psychological horror. It's like, wait, have I seen that hole in the wall? Oh my god! Oh. That'll get your juices flowing. Oh my 
my god. It's like there's less routes to take ever since we went back here the second time. I mean, ever since we got sent back here the first time. It's almost like there's less there's less ways to get to the the next floor. I mean, technically, wouldn't it be the previous floor? Because it's like, it said it was negative one, right? So there's floors bev before zero, apparently. Which is interesting, because I thought this was the main floor. Well, then again, the, the back rooms are outside of reality, so... It kind of just makes up its own rules as it goes. Um... I would really enjoy if we could find some more. Wait, what are these? Okay, baked potatoes. We can find some more baked potato. What the hell was that? We need some more almond water um, and baked potatoes because on my test run, I found a lot more, a lot more. Difficulty with this was automatically set to hard hard mode. So I hope uh, So I hope we're actually able to get to floor two because I don't I don't think it's possible to defeat the monster on floor one. I just don't think it's possible. I don't know if there's, like, chests you can get other than almond water, if there's, like, actual equipment or something, but... Anything? Okay, this is good. Oh, it's just a loop. That's a bummer. No, we were already there. Dang, this is a pickle. Hallelujah. Knew we'd figure it out eventually. Actually, this makes a lot of sense with this being negative one. Because this looks, it almost looks like a testing version of... Oh, is the, is the, is the music a clue? Okay, it's coming from this direction. I'm gonna use it kind of like a like a sonar system. The quieter it gets, the the colder we are. Jeez. Okay, no music anymore for some reason. Maybe the music isn't an indicator for anything. Maybe it's just... Okay, nothing there. As far as I know, this is entirely a peaceful floor. Um, same thing, well, actually, no, room, uh, level zero isn't a peaceful floor, but it basically is, uh, unfortunately, room level one, it throws you right into the thick of it. Um, that is definitely a hostile floor. And... That is a problem. This is definitely a problem. Okay, this way or this way? My gut's telling me to go left.
How how I, I always like to think of it, when in doubt, pick your dominant hand. Well, most people would, would choose right, but I, I would go left. Or, if if you're still super indecisive, when in doubt, middle it out. So either... Jeez. Good lord. Man, I, I swear, you you ever get the feeling when you're playing a horror game and you, you always gotta look behind you? Oh, I, I hate that. Yeah, supplies. Oh man, I th I thought that was gonna be like a, like a mystery almost, like a a mystery box. You know what would be really cool? It would, like, the back rooms fused together with lucky blocks. I would love to see. No! Is this is is this supposed to be like the character having an auditory hallucination or something? Maybe it's like their their dog from their I'm guessing if you follow the sound wave it's not going to it's not going to go anywhere. Oh my god, what the hell is that? <laughs> Shit! Oh, I should have guessed. I should have guessed. It's it's a monster trying to lure you into into following it. It's trying, it, it tries to lure you with like a cute sound. No, 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 no. No, please, please leave me alone. No. Fuck off. No. No! I thought this was a relatively peaceful floor. Come on, man. Fuck. No, 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 no. Okay, so I'm guessing, considering we never saw that creature, um, I'm guessing the longer you get, like, you stay on one floor, the more dangerous it gets. Because the first time we were on that floor and we, like, got sent back, nothing happened. In fact, I didn't see any creatures at all. But, uh, okay, well, moving forward, 
And literally any and all sounds we hear, any all creatures we hear, we have to assume that they're deadly. And uh, we have to just Uh, not follow them. Oh, I should have guessed. I thought it was going to be like a friendly, friendly creature that was going to give us like almond water or something, but no, I should have, I should have guessed. It's like a predator tactic. Uses like a cute sound or like a mesmerizing like look to it. And as soon as it gets you hooked, it's, it's going to try to kill you. I think it shapeshifted as well. Because at first it kind of looked like a dog. Welcome team to Operation No Clip. I mean, yeah, how fitting, but then the it objective is to go as far and document. Yes, yes, I hear you. Your second objective is to find the previous team we've lost contact with. Last objective is to prioritize the mission above all else. Be careful out there, and we await your return. Okay, so I wonder, what I was saying is I wonder if we, we don't go, go towards that barking sound, if we just never go towards it or never go up to it. I wonder if it just keeps barking because it hasn't led us into our, led us into its trap. I wonder if it's like, if you just ignore it, it will go away. Or, or it just won't turn into, the, like, the monster. I'm pretty sure the, the smiles, or whatever they're called, they're on every single floor. I've only ever seen the, the stalkers, the ones that, like, take up your whole screen. And is, most of the screen is black, but it's just, like, a... Like, kind of a laughing face. Um. Oh, the, the creator also did say it's procedurally generated. So, maybe that, that dog barking thing was only on the... I don't know. We're going to have to play through this a couple times. Especially if you, uh, if you guys like it. I really hope we get lucky and find more almond water this time around. Because everything is randomly generated too, it... Oh my god, it... As soon as something chases you, it sucks because unless you've played this mo uh, a bunch of times before, like you, it it kind of like you're running, but at the same time, it's kind of like you're just waiting for the inevitable. And the the almond water and the and the, the baked potatoes they don't really do anything either because I've never had my food go down before and. I thought you could like drink like two or three almond waters or whatever and then you might be able to like replenish your lives but unfortunately I don't think it's going to be that easy. Really selling it with the ambience though. I'll, I got to I gotta give credit to the studio who made this. I'm guessing it's made by a bunch of people because this does not seem like a one-person project. It just doesn't. Is that... No, I thought I saw some, some text. One thing I do like about the text on the walls is it get, it does give you a rough estimate of where you are. Say, oh, I should also be paying attention to the holes in the wall. Even though they, they kind of look like chest plates. Um, because that could... Jeez. Oh, 
fuck. That never gets easier. Also, I just realized this will technically be my first horror game uploaded to the channel. I'm I'm also thinking of doing Slender the Arrival uh, once I get my Switch fixed. So, yeah, let me know if you guys want to see more horror game content. I know this this is this playthrough is kind of just me like walking around and in Minecraft and stuff, and you know, for some of you it might get kind of boring, but. You know, you know, I don't, I don't mind. Feel free to put this on when you're studying or when you're going to bed. I mean, obviously you're going to have to turn it down because I'm screaming like a bitch, but <laughs> you know, whatever works for you. I'm not here to judge. Okay, perfect. First almond water. This is also, this is definitely a development. Okay, which direction to go to? I'm, I'm going to say this way. This way feels right. No, I feel like we've been I feel like we've been there before. Oh, it sucks cuz you ne you never you never truly know when when like something is like a Oh, crap. Oh, did we get ourselves stuck? No. Okay, there we go. I guess that's just a dead end. Man, I really... Do we have a flashlight by chance? I guess the third person can also help. Yeah, let's just stick with third person. I wonder what the jump scares are like in third person. Oh, this is a... Man, we're still only on level zero. Okay, there's the escape sign. What did we do last time? Just kind of went in this direction. Come on, Ash. You, you know what to do. Just stick with one direction and eventually you'll find your way out. Cause, cause that's that's the thing with mazes. If you stick, if you stick with one direction, like even when you're going a different way, you still face that direction. Um, you always end up finding your way out. So like in a corn maze, that that's that's what I would always use to. I mean, I haven't been to one in a long time, but that's what I'd always do. I'd I'd always face one direction, and I'd always like keep a mental note of it in my head. And then eventually I would just get out without without any help. Um, same thing with those like uh, those mirror rooms. Okay, this direction. It does it does take some concentration though, um, because in mazes and like the back rooms and stuff um it is very disorienting so all it all it takes is like one one mental slip up and you realize oh i don't even know what direction i'm supposed to be facing anymore okay i Oh, there we go. Already have it clicked in. Okay, I think I think with these like two like dark parts right here, uh, I 
Okay, corridor maybe? No. Oh man, another dead end. No! <sighs> Stop dropping shit. Oh, this is... Oh my god, no, one... no wonder people, like, literally never find their way out of here. This sucks. Not the level or anything, but oh my god, getting lost in here? Jesus. People are like, oh, it's, 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 it's all fake, you know, you never have to worry about it to begin with, but, you know, you never know. It's possible. You know, some creepy pastas and stuff like that, it's like so, it's like so detached from reality, you're like, eh, nah, the, it's pretty easy to see right through it, but at the same time, some of them you're like, I don't know. That's just plausible enough to be you know, to keep you on your toes and to be like, eh, you never know. And I, I think that's, I think that's, that's all that matters. Like, if it's just believable enough to, like, have, if it's just believable enough to, uh, to, like, where it would, act, where it is it could happen, even if, even if it is a little supernatural based, like, you know, it still, it still gets you. It still sticks with you. You know what I mean? That's what, that's why I love like the horror genre. I don't, I'm not super into it. Like I'm not, I'm not one of those people who like, on a Saturday night, one of the first things I do is go to go to the movies and see a horror movie. I'm not like that, but it's it's one of the few genres other than like fantasy or like medieval or something where you're like, well, it's not real. I mean, it's not realistic, but at the same time, it kind of doesn't have to be. Because here's the thing, something being realistic and something being possible, those are two different things. Alright guys, I'm, I'm officially lost. I might have to cut I might have to cut the video until I figure my way out of here cuz um this I don't know this this is impossible This generate this ver, this generation of the map is is a lot less predictable than the, the previous ones. Jesus. Hey, ho, some more almond water. So we have officially made it to a checkpoint. This, I don't, I don't think they respawn. So this would, oh my God. This would count as a new area. Man, they need to add a flashlight to this or something. I do love the text. The texture pack seems to be, um, 
seems to be very in depth. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to make a custom map of this uh as well. Oh my god, this is taking forever. Finally. Oh no. No, not this level. Not this level, please. don't know how to escape this level. I don't. There's no weapon I can use. There's, like... Can you even punch the thing off? Like, what the hell do I even do here? Can I out... Can I even... Can I outrun it? Well, like... I don't get it. I might have to turn the difficulty down on this because as, as soon as I hear the footsteps of the, the beast, the monster, whatever you call it, I'm guessing it's like a stalker, it kind of looks like Siren Head, whatever it is, I can't shake it. As soon as, as soon as the foot, you hear the footsteps, you're, it's like you're already dead. I'm guessing, I'm guessing what I have to do is turn on enough of those light switches, maybe? Okay, there's some almond water. What the hell? Although I don't, I don't know what the point is of the almond water if if it doesn't really do much of anything. Guys, I don't, I don't think, wait, lights. Lights. Okay, so turn the, okay, the monster likes darkness. That's what I'm going to take away from it. I mean, uh, so, does that mean if we can get all the light switches fixed, uh, flipped, we can defeat the monster? Or it just stops despawning and we can finally... Finally move on to, uh... Taking the floor. Okay, there's one of the light switches. There we go. Okay, there it is. I'm guessing these yellow strips count as checkpoints, right? No, 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 no. Damn, guys. I... <sighs> That's gonna take a bit to do. Um, what's the recording at? All right, 48 minutes. Yeah, for the next... I'm gonna have to play this in... I'm gonna have to play this in my downtime and figure out how to, how to defeat that monster. But, um... If you like this, uh... Definitely check out another one because that's how the algorithm works. Uh, I love you. I hope you were entertained. And I'll see you all in the next video. 
peace